Jesus told this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lambs and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were sensible. The foolish ones did take their lambs, but they brought no oil. Whereas the sensible one took flasks of oil as well as their lamps. The bridegroom was late, and they all grew drowsy and fell asleep. But at midnight there was a cry The bridegroom is here, go out and meet him. At this, all those bridesmaids woke up and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish one said to the sensible ones, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. But they replied, There may not be enough for us and for you. You had better go to those who sell it and buy some for yourselves. They had gone off to buy it when the bridegroom arrived. Those who were ready went in with him to the wedding hall, and the door was closed. The other bridesmaids arrived later. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you solemnly, I do not know you. So stay awake, because you do not know either the day or the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. So good morning again. There are quite a number of things I would like to uh, draw your attention uh, in this Sunday. Firstly, lightning annual Christmas appeal. You may see in front of you there at least two kinds of envelopes. And I hope that you make sure that when you leave the church, you got both of them uh, for, for your family. And you will hear more details about that uh, when we will play the video that the Bishop Costello will, will tell to you. That's the first thing. The second thing that I think that you are uh, also quite uh, uh, familiar with that, U.S. election result. I'm not Trump supporter, of course, and not either Joe Biden. Okay? Uh, but I think I would like to ask you to thank God for the election is over. And also, I pray that Americans will accept the reality. Whatever the results are, they accept it. And to live harmoniously with each other and to bring peace to the world. That's what I would like you to pray. And I do pray that too. Thirdly, on Monday, the 9th of November, which is an important day for the Redemptorist. You may know the region. 288 years ago, 1732, St. Anthony established our order, Redemptorist, the Most Holy Redeemer by the name, and on the 9th of November. So that is the foundation uh, for our Redemptorists. It's very important for all of us Redemptorists, not only us, but you as well. Why? I tell you, when we celebrate 170 years the foundation of our Redemptorists, and in this ground, in 1902, on the 9th of November, the first stone was laid for this St. Peter and Paul Monastery Church. So it's great to remember that. It's great to remind us 
all about that. When we know all about that, I ask you to thank God for the 288 years that Redemptorists existing around the world. And also, for us here, we thank God for more than 100 years. This church is here for you to come. Many generations already come and pray, and many blessings and grace come from God for all of us, uh, the older generation and are here now. And you might notice that the roof of the church is being replaced. And we pray that God bless Redemptorists and bless this church. So we may uh, maintain and stay here for one more 100 years. So that really I would like you to pray and thank God for today. All right, I won't shut up before I say something until I say something about the gospel today. Because the priest cannot shut up if, if heaven say anything about the gospel when they say mass, especially on Sunday. So I want to shut up. May I with me? <laughs> All right, the, the parables today, it's not, not easy to understand if in terms of you are questioning about something there like what kind of oils so they don't really share? How do they fool enough to light the lamp there and when to sleep and let it just blow away and then don't have enough oil to, to turn it on when, when the Lord comes? When we listen to the parables, we don't go to that question, okay? We go to see what is the message from the parables. And the message is very clear. Did you remember that? The last sentence of the gospel today, Jesus said, So, stay awake. Stay awake. Because you do not know either the day or the hour. So that, that is the most important message that we need to, to see and to hear and to put it into practice. I often say to people that, yes, when you listen to the gospel, that is beautiful, that is really good. But it's better you understand the message. It's not good enough if you only understand the message, unless you bring it into action. And so, I'd like to say to you that the message today from the Gospel very, very clear for you. Stay awake. Put it into practice.